Good Friday morning. We're warily waiting to see if the government shuts down. How Goldman Sachs alumni churn through the Trump administration. And how bad did things at Uber get under Travis Kalanick? So far, the markets don't seem bothered. S. And P500 futures were up this morning. Will that change as the Senate looks deadlocked over the House's stopgap funding bill? Democrats so far appear united on wanting a permanent shield for the young immigrants known as Dreamers, something C.E.O.S. like Tim Cook and Steve Schwartzman support, and Senate Republicans need 60 votes to pass the funding bill. What's in the House measure? money to keep the government open for a month, six years funding for the children's health insurance program, and the delay or suspension of several taxes tied to the Affordable Care Act. Democrats reaction, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi said, this is like giving you a bowl of doggy do, put a cherry on top and call it a chocolate sundae. Why businesses should care if Democrats force a shutdown and win the escalating political battle, they could have more clout to push back against President Trump's agenda, including further deregulation of industries. If Republicans win, they could add to legislative momentum from their tax overhaul victory. The Washington Gossip, How Mr. Trump Butted Heads with His Chief of Staff John Kelly underscore 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 on deal book briefing was written by Andrew Ross Sorkin in New York. And Michael J. DeLamer said and Amy Tsung in London underscore 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 and Powell is gone. So is Steve Bannon. Anthony Scaramucci was barely there. And soon. Gary Cohn is expected to leave. What was expected to be a big contingent of Goldman Sachs alumni in the Trump administration is down to, primarily, Stephen Nookin. Here's what Newt Gingrich told Jim Stewart of the NYT The Washington fly around the Senate is weighing whether to clamp down on Chinese acquisitions of U.S. tech companies. Axios, the White House is considering appointing John Williams the head of the San Francisco Fed, as vice chairman of the Federal Reserve, according to unnamed sources. Meanwhile, a vacancy at the New York Fed has given critics of Mr. Trump hope of being able to partially counter the president's economic agenda, WSJ, NYT, Mick Mulvaney, the interim head of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau sought precisely zero dollars for the agency's budget this quarter. NYT, could the tax law and companies like Apple that are repatriating cash boost the dollar? CNBC, pretty rough, according to Bloomberg Businessweek's latest cover story. Here's a detail about Mr. Kalanick's apology to Faza Camel, an Uber driver with whom he had had a heated, and videotaped, Argument still, Mr. Kalanick is doing okay in some respects. He's officially a billionaire after a consortium led by the SoftBank closed its $9.3 billion investment in Uber yesterday. SoftBank is already questioning Uber's direct own a senior executive at the Japanese tech giant, who is set to become an Uber director is already challenging the ride-hailing giant's strategy of worldwide domination. It should focus on its core markets in the US, Europe, Latin America, and Australia, Rajiv Misra told the FT. Mr. Misra insisted that his suggestion wasn't about cutting losses but about focusing on promising areas for growth. On Twitter, our colleague Mike Isaac had, shall we say, 
a toughly worded assessment. Carl Icahn he wants Xerox, of which he owns a 9.7%, to renegotiate a joint venture with Fujifilm. And if the board won't do it, he wants them replaced. Also, he encouraged Xerox's talks with Fujifilm about potential transactions. Bill Ackman Lex writes of the hedge fund mogul's plan to more than double the management stake in his firm's publicly traded investment vehicle 20 cities got a rose from Amazon and are advancing to the next stage of the competition for its second headquarters. What New York City, Atlanta, Toronto, Denver, and the others can expect. According to Nick Wingfield of the NYT some observation seats notable that three contenders are in the D.C. area. And would Amazon dare annoy Mr. Trump by picking Toronto, rejects reactions Detroit, this is the NFL. Economic development at this level, it ain't beanbag, said Sandy Berua of the Detroit Regional Chamber who said that the city fell short on developing and attracting talent San Diego, Cindy Gomper Graves of the South County Economic Development Council said that the city might have done better if California had been clearer about potential incentives. Critics Corner Tom Buerkle writes, Hundreds of cities hoped Amazon would think outside the box, but a desire for talent and a welcoming environment led it to the usual hot spots. Brea King views, Brian Alexander worries about how cities court big companies, the way most cities pursue that goal by offering to forfeit enormous amounts of tax revenues produces outcomes that have worried many economists for years. Atlantic the SEC questioned how the virtual currency's volatility and potential illiquidity could be squared with exchange-traded funds, which must calculate a fair market price for their portfolio at the end of every trading day and let investors cash out easily. And Europe's Securities and Markets Authority said that it may restrict retail investors from buying into derivatives that let investors bet on the price of virtual currencies without owning them outright so-called contracts for difference, dot a public service announcement, if Santa left you Bitcoin under your virtual tree, or if you just bought some, you need to report it to the IRS. The tax collector regards virtual currencies as property, not money. In the restaurant industry, it's involved women stepping up. Here's what Shannon White the COO of John Bish's restaurant group in New Orleans, said of taking over after the eponymous restaurateur left amid scandal. Meanwhile, a study by McKinsey and Company found that companies with more diverse executive teams tended to be more profitable than their peers. The creator of the shitty Media Men list speaks, Moira Donegan said that the conversation about harassment will continue. I think that every time we get a little louder, and we get a little closer to making the changes that actually need to be made, she told the NYT in a video interview. From a LinkedIn post by Glenn Kelman, the online real estate brokerage is C.E. Oh, read the whole thing. Mr. Kelman also reflects on flying commercial to save money, which left him with delays and Sparrow's Pizza and nerves about whether the IPO would take off Tom Hill, the veteran Wall Street deal maker who has long led the Blackstone Group's alternative asset business, is stepping down as the division's CEO, Hill remain chairman. John McCormick will take over as C.E. O Bank of America Merrill Lynch's global head of tech, media, and telecom investment banking, Anwar Zakor, is stepping down. According to CNBC Snap laid off two dozen workers in New York and London, half of them content producers, consolidating its content work in Los Angeles. CNBC, investment banks often say that underwriting debt and equity issues for companies brings in trading activity and vice versa, but big banks' latest results don't always back that up. NYT IBM's revenue grew for the first time in five and a half years, 
but not enough to erase industry analysts' doubts. NYT, researchers at the Electronic Frontier Foundation and Lookout said they had evidence that Lebanon's intelligence agency had spied on thousands of people via their computers and cell phones, primarily via decoy apps. NYT, Wyndham Worldwide will buy La Quinta's hotel operations for $1.95 billion. Reuters, Dogus Holding is working with advisors to spin off some of its restaurants into a separate unit for a potential initial public offering. That would include the Nusra E.T. Steakhouse, founded by Nusret Gaki, or Salt B. Bloomberg Hackers who attacked a petrochemical plant in Saudi Arabia last year gained control over a safety shut-off system that is critical in defending against catastrophic events, according to security researchers. WSJ, HSBC agreed to pay a $101.5 million penalty over attempts to manipulate foreign exchange markets in a settlement with the Department of Justice that lets the bank avoid pleading guilty to criminal charges. FT, ADT, the security company owned by Apollo Global Management, said on Thursday that its initial public offering was priced well below its expected range. Reuters the U.S. government will not approve any investment by HNA Group until the Chinese conglomerate provides adequate information on its shareholders, according to a person familiar with the situation. Reuters, want this in your own email inbox? Here's the sign up. You can find live updates throughout the day at NewYorkTimes.com slash dealbook. We'd love your feedback. Please email thoughts and suggestions to bizday at newyorktimes.com.